Hello and welcome, I'm JD and the other day I played a game with uh, two light cruisers and some support ships and there were some comments and some feedback uh, which is always good and there were some things that I overlooked when I was building that fleet so I thought I'd just quickly go through some considerations when I was building the fleet um, and what I was designing it to do. With the OSP there had been quite a few uh, missile containers within pillars as well as some of the MLS so what I primarily wanted to do was counter um, missiles from the OSP but still remain mobile enough that enabled uh, the gun night cruisers to move around picking off smaller ships and then being supported by the rest of my ships uh, to cover them. Uh, so ultimately I landed on two uh, gun light cruisers. Talon has five 250 millimeters, Tooth has four and a bullseye. So that offsets uh, the fact that one has a parallax and then the other one just has a front line and a bullseye. So they could both independently lock if one was to go down. Uh, maintaining accuracy on the Mark 64s. So the Mark 64s were the primary damage dealer for this fleet. So I wanted to uh, buff them up. I've got three, I've got four ammunition elevators on the Mark 64s. Uh, so they're a 5.32 second reload time. So almost 50%. Uh, usually I take a mount gyros, but I haven't in this case. Uh, I've just gone full um, reload time reduction. They're both equipped with uh, four defenders. With enough defenders, I was hoping to counter the fact that um, containers are nice and slow, and that's between eight between the two light cruisers, which are more or less going to be operating very close together. So when I was first playing, I had all HE. So I've taken 300 HE and converted it into 300 AP for each ship. So now I can punch uh, down a little bit with the RPF on the, the shuttles, but the HE to then finish them off when they're stationary and for the smaller OSP ships. And then I've got AP for the uh, Acellos and the tugboats. Uh, otherwise, I think the other main thing here is just a whiplash and dragonfly. I could probably swap one of those out for a radar drive. Um, however, I just haven't uh, got the ability to switch those points around at the moment because I've also taken my power to the max. So that's the mainstay of the combat power of the fleet. I'll just give you a quick squiz down on Tooth. I'll also uh, put the link to Lieutenant Hazel up. Uh, at the end of this video so you can just have a look there as well uh, one thing i'm trying out is a pd escort so this corvette has a mark 62 cannon i want it to be able to have some offensive capability for the late game uh, contesting of points and then it has a stone wall at the front hoping to mitigate any of the rocket swarms and then two defenders as well otherwise it's not too remarkable it operates roughly at the same speed as tooth and talon uh, but it does have a little bit more angular thrust and turn rate hoping to bring the point defense um, to bear a lot quicker uh, and this is just designed to move around uh, these two ships so that if I feel that a weak side is on the left, if I feel like that's where the missiles are going to come from, then I can move uh, this ship over to that side and then reposition it over to the right. The main thing that I'll need to remember is actually to remember to do it. Completing the sort of the quartet and probably hanging back a little bit is um, the Adora, just a frigate, two blanket jammers, which now that I remember, I need to put these in a group. And it's got two rebounds. The purpose of the rebounds is, again, simply just trying to counter any rocket swarms. The only other sort of buffing module here is an actively cooled amplifier, simply so I have the maximum amount of uptime for the blanket jammers. And to round it out, I've got the Mimic, which is a spyglass sarissa. As its name states, it has a spyglass with a scryer, so I can see what missiles are incoming, the best way to counter them. And then I've got four sarissas. Um, and I've, this is made possible by two plant control centers, as well as uh, an extra dry, an extra reactor, I should say. Again, that takes it pretty much up to its power limit. The idea is that, like you saw in the game, it sits above, it's able to provide early warning and identification of missiles, and then it's able to also uh, engage those missiles at the longest range, whittling them down so that by the time that they get to the main body of the force, there isn't too many. Uh, so this is a pretty fast and pretty accurate at the moment, so uh, with 500 shots, it should be okay. Could I ideally drop one or two of the Sarissas and put something else such as uh, Electronic Warfare on there? Potentially, and I'll play with that in the future. So that's it. This is uh, the Combat Squadron that you saw. I'll have Lieutenant Hazel's breakdown at the end uh, so that you can just have a look at that format. And then you can also uh, download it from Steam Workshop, play with it, modify it yourself. If you use the same names, then I'll be able to know what's on those ships if we ever meet in-game. In However, um, yeah, feel free to play with it and make any adjustments as you like. All right, thanks for watching and take care.